Here at Terrapin Works, we have three main 3D scanning systems, the Arctic Leo, Arctic Space Spider, and Hexagon Roamer Absolute Arm. The Arctic Leo and Space Spider are both portable scanners, while the Roamer Absolute Arm is stationary. The Hexagon Roamer Absolute Arm is a laser scanner mounted to a 7-axis arm with encoders that enable precise identification of the points identified by the laser with respect to a global origin point. The Roamer Absolute Arm is best for small to medium objects with fine detail or a need for high accuracy. The Arctic Leo captures scans with two powerful cameras and has an integrated computer and touchscreen control panel that enables scanning while not attached to a computer. It's best for large objects that do not require fine details such as body parts. The Arctic Space Spider is based on blue light technology, so it captures points by projecting a pattern and measuring deformation in its reflection from the object being scanned. It is able to capture color and is best for small to medium objects. Although the Arctic Spider has a higher resolution than the Roamer Arm, it also has greater error. Each scanner typically requires scanning passes for multiple orientations to capture the entire object. To align these scans, post-processing in either Arctic Studio or Geomagic Design X is required, where the scanning technician is able to clean up and finalize the scan. Now we'll take a detailed look at the scanning process using the Roamer Absolute Arm. First, the scanning technician must determine the best plan of action to scan the object and set up the first orientation, ensuring that the object is stable since it can't move during the scan. Next, the technician must set up the Roamer arm for scanning by connecting it to the computer, unlocking and uncovering the arm, adjusting settings based on the scan object, and getting Geomagic Design X ready to capture the scan. Then, the scanning process begins by aligning the red dot and line on the object. Keeping this dot and line aligned throughout the scanning pass while keeping the scanner perpendicular to the object is difficult yet crucial to the quality of the scan. After a few passes, the technician has to check the quality of the surfaces captured in Geomagic Design X to determine where to focus the next passes and eventually determine when the scan data is sufficient for that orientation. Once the first orientation scan data is sufficient, the technician has to clean up the scan in Geomagic Design X before moving on to the next orientation. This post-processing can be very extensive depending on the complexity of the object. Once the first orientation's post-processing is completed, the technician moves the object to the next orientation and follows the same general process as the first orientation, making sure to have an area of this orientation that overlaps with the first so that the scan can be aligned properly. Once the second orientation scan data is sufficient, the technician cleans up the scan and then aligns it with the first orientation scan before continuing. Getting the two scans aligned well is one of the most important parts of the scanning process. Typically, a third orientation is needed to complete the scan, so the technician will complete the same process as before with this third scan. Once all orientations are aligned, the technician does a final cleanup of the scan to get a watertight result. The file can then be exported as any of the file types you see listed here and is sent to the customer upon receiving payment. For reference, the scanning process for this object took about two hours and this was a relatively simple object to scan because there weren't many colors, too many fine details, or deep grooves that could be difficult to scan. The scanning process as a whole is very tedious and time consuming, so we kindly ask for your patience with us completing your scanning requests.